guys asked me on Instagram for an office tour and I've just been really wanting to do one. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's hop straight into this. Starting over here on the door, this is my Pokemon to go bag is what I call it. In here I have everything that I need for tournaments on the weekends or if we go to any sort of Pokemon event and I need to bring my cards, my trade binder, and just a really cute backpack with cute little pins on it. So this is my trade binder. This is where I have GXs and secret rares and important cards that I'm willing to trade with other people. I don't have tons of GXs in here, but you know, I just like to keep them a little bit organized and I take this uh, to have available if I want to make any trades. This is another binder that I bring with me. This has energies in the front page and then I have my entire Detective Pikachu complete collection. Then after that, it's just hollow or reverse hollow rares that I keep sleeved up in a binder. This big boy is my deck box that I love so much. I got the blue one because I love water Pokemon. Um, it's a magnetic deck box that keeps all my super cute ditto sleeves in there, that, that is the current deck that I'm playing in tournaments with. And then in the top little compartment, this is where I have my GX token and my dice and poison burn tokens, as well as a cute little coin that I don't usually use, but I just really like this little Detective Pikachu coin. It's one of my favorites. It's a really heavy coin as well, so it's actually pretty good quality. So yeah, it's my deck box. This little cutie is my container that I keep my playmat in. I'm playing with a really nice Shining Legends playmat. I love this playmat because it has all the cute little Pokemon shinies on it. <coughs> then this little extra Snorlax deck box is actually holding my business cards. I make sure to take this everywhere just in case I run into people I need to give my business cards out to. To the left of the door is the shelf with this cute little Detective Pikachu poster above it. And then right next to that is my printer, which is just my printer. <laughs> um, then on top of this shelf, I have my little Pokemon binder that holds uh, some retro cards that I've opened in a couple of my YouTube videos. I just keep them in this little mini binder. Right next to the binder is two Unified Minds pre-release decks from the pre-release event I just went to. I just haven't had a chance to uh, put these away yet, so those are just some cute pulls that I got from the pre-release event. Next to that, I have my Full Art Cynthia and Guzma and Top Loaders, and I also have this really amazing portrait of me that an Instagram artist did. She's super talented. And then I also have another very talented artist that made this custom painted android for me. It's so pretty, beautiful floral pattern, and it was actually made by my sister. So thank you, Jessica. <laughs> so what we actually have on this shelf is just a bunch of Pokemon stuff that we store. This little Detective Pikachu launch box has all different types of dice that we've gotten from Elite Trainer Boxes. Just have a whole tin of them. <laughs> This Detective Pikachu box, we have our GX and our Poison Burn counters. Another entire tin of them. <laughs> and then we actually have our Jumbo cards that we get from promotional boxes. These are just a bunch of different Jumbo cards. We don't really know what to do with these yet, so we just kind of have them in a stack. If you guys know what to do with them or what you guys do with them, please let me know. I want to do something creative. Then we have this whole tin of coins. Sorry, it's kind of blurry, but this was a cute little Pikachu coin that I thought was adorable. And yeah, it's just a tin of coins. <laughs> then in this tin, we have more tins. They actually don't have anything inside of them, but they're just really pretty Pokemon decorative tins. So I just make sure to keep those around. On the top shelf, we have just a giant tin full of different energies. In this tin, we have a bunch of different sleeves. This is only a portion of our sleeves that we've gotten from a couple Elite Trainer boxes. And this last box, this is actually where I keep my extra business cards and the holographic business cards that I have as well. 
Down on the bottom shelf, I have books that I've collected over the years. Most of them are about interior design or fashion, because that's something that interests me. And then we also have these comics. A lot of these were Taco's old comics, but we decided to sleeve them up and start a little mini comic collection. So that is where we keep those. Next, we have my desk area. This is where I produce all my content, where I film, edit, and do all my graphic design as well. I love this desk area. It is super cozy and nice. It is an amazing setup, the best one I've ever had. And it also has a lot of natural lighting, which I really like. I'm right next to a window, so while I'm sitting, I can actually look out the window and kind of be near nature, even though I'm in front of a computer constantly. <laughs> So that's really, really nice. I'm rolling with three monitors. One of them is very old and one of them is actually a TV. So, <laughs> but it works, it works. And then I also have my microphone, my Elgato light and my camera setup, as well as my cushions that are on the wall for a little bit of soundproofing, but mostly just an aesthetic add on to the room. <laughs> Over here on my desk, we have this super cute little Pikachu that I like to keep there because he makes me happy. Then I have this little Pokeball controller, that's how we play Let's Go on stream. And then my actual Switch has amazing Super Nintendo controllers that Taco actually got me as a gift. Then I have my mug warmer that I keep my coffee on. This is super handy because I drink coffee super slow, so it helps me a bunch. Then we have my sloth mouse pad and my mouse. This is a weighted mouse that I have, the Logitech G502. It's awesome for playing RTS games. Then we have my stream deck that I use when I open TCG packs. This is what triggers our little celebrations. Then we have my keyboard that is rainbow. And underneath the keyboard is my beautiful ditto playmat that you guys might recognize from all my videos. And then for some of my hardware setup, we have my Fifine microphone. I actually have a review video on that if you guys wanna see it. Then my camera setup and my light. So for my camera setup, uh, we actually ended up buying an arm off of Amazon that's supposed to hold monitors, but then we just extended it out to hold our webcams. So we actually have a Logitech and a GoPro hooked there, and that is actually how I achieve all of my overhead bird's eye view angles that you guys see in my TCG videos. My light is the Elgato Key Light. This is a super expensive light. Taco actually got it for me, but honestly, it has made an entirely insane amount of difference in the production value of my videos. And that is my entire desk area and everything I have around me while I'm creating this spicy content. Next to my desk is this little shelf where I will usually stack up merchandise that I have yet to open for videos. And then on top of the shelf, I usually stack up stuff that I have opened until I get a chance to put it away. Inside this little shelf is usually where I will store some of my business materials. This is a little stamper that I have uh, for when I'm mailing things out to people or writing fan letters and stuff like that. I'll just take it and stamp my logo on whatever I need to make stamps on. And it is so, so cute. I also have an embosser that I bought as well, which is the same idea except you just do it on a piece of paper and it actually embosses my logo into the paper, which is really, really, really nice. Next to my storage closet, I have these cute little decorative shelves. The first shelf is my Snorlax, Pokeball, and my little cactus. Then I have my evil shelf, which is No Face, L, and Ryuk from Death Note. Then my third shelf is Lemon Nuts, our cute little deer, a cactus candle, and a Bob Ross pop figure. Then we have my plant babies. We have a piece of driftwood hanging from our ceiling by coconut rope. I bought this piece of driftwood from a guy that actually retrieves driftwood, power washes it, and then sells it. So I got it for $3 and we hung all of our plant babies from it. I love it so much. It's perfect because my plants get a ton of sunlight and they're just super healthy and awesome. Here's some of our little baby plants. This is our air plant. 
that is in a little triangle container that I think is super cool. Then we have one of my uh, cactus plants in this like little gold pale blue pot, which is nice. And then on the end, we have our aloe plant, who's a big boy. He's grown a lot, actually. Then right at the end, the OG Cornelius, the corn plant. He's the first plant I got for my stream room. So he has a special place in my heart. I also don't know if you guys knew I had a dog, but this is Penny, or you will hear me call her Nini, Niners, Panini, Black Mamba, Poopy Girl. <laughs> She's a super cute black lab that I adopted back when I was in my one bedroom apartment in North Carolina. And she's just been my best friend ever since. She's always kept me company and she's a big snuggly, snuggly boogaloo. <coughs> Next to my plants, we have this little brown shelf that has just a couple of things on it. A little Pikachu hat that I got from Pokemon Go Fest, a cute little deer that I got from one of my Twitch viewers, and my record player. We also have my little fluffy boo artwork. Next to that, we have Giant Squirtle Man! Senpai Patrick actually won him for me from an arcade. You know, he actually kind of looks like Senpai Patrick. <laughs> and we have my giant piece of wall art that is actually just a bunch of Elite Trainer Box sleeves taped together. This is my cube shelf of collectibles and Pokemon plushies. The light behind the shelf are Philips Hue lights. These are so awesome because it's an app that actually connects to my phone and allows me to change the light to any color, any amount of light, any saturation and intensity. It is amazing. They are so awesome and super, super cool for just added effects in videos. I also have my beautiful Boo wall art. Taco got this for me from a thrift store and it is so pretty. It's probably my favorite piece of the room. Starting with my plushies, this is Appa. He's a six-legged flying bison from Avatar The Last Airbender. I had always wanted an Appa plushie and then my friend Sean found one at a Comic-Con and sent it to me as a gift. Rolling down the line here, most of these are Pokemon plushies that are gifts from some of my stream viewers. You got the Poliwhirl Bros, a cute little Celebi, Taco's Magikarp, my Master Ball, a Chikorita I got from Pokemon Go Fest, and then a bunch of Bobbies. And of course, Ditto Pikachu and Clefairy. We also have this Pokemon VHS tape from 1997. <laughs> then we have our Cubbies! In this cubby, we have two little sack figures from Little Big Planet and Little Big Planet 2, and then we have a bunch of pop figures just stacked up. In this cubby, we have Pokemon plushies from the Pokemon Center in Tokyo. Me and Taco got to visit and pick a bunch up. We also have a couple from Kevin, someone in my stream that sent us a bunch of retro ones as well. This is our cubby where we have all of our amiibos. Most of them are from Breath of the Wild, but we also have a Greninja and a Charizard in the back there as well. We also have another pop figure slash figurine cubby where we have Dobby, Spock Tart, Captain Cupkirk, and we also have a baby Groot, but his arm fell off when I moved, so that's kind of sad. I have another cubby that holds a bunch of elite trainer boxes and inside of them are just extra cards or they're just empty. <laughs> another plushy cubby that holds my Psyduck, two boos in the back from Kevin from Stream, a little cute little Magikarp, and then also a Ditto Ammonite, which is from Than from Stream. A cubby with displayed Pokemon cards. I promise I'm not trying to flex on you guys. <laughs> and last but not least, another cubby that has my Ditto plush, my cute talking Psyduck, and another Boo plush from Kevin, who looks like Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> And that's gonna wrap it up for our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had just as much fun creating this room as I do creating content in it for you guys. So thank you all for the support on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I will catch you guys next time. Bye -bye.